What is up guys and gals? How's it going? It's been a while since I've showed my beautiful bushy faced face. I don't even know if that makes any sense. Anyways, it's been a while since I've shown my face to you guys here on YouTube. Been doing a lot of, well actually no, that's a lie because you've actually been watching the videos that I've been putting, uh, uploading gaming videos that have my face on it from Twitch. But um, this will be probably the last time you see this beautiful bushy beard. I'm going to be getting rid of that. Anyways, let's go on. Well, let's go on. Let's go on. What the heck? I didn't know Han was in this. Good luck. Let's go on and uh, move past that and get into why I am going to be bringing you another video today. And it's going to be, yep, that's right, you guessed it, a statue review. So let's get into the video. Anyways, guys and gals, as I said before, it's been quite a while since I've brought you guys a uh, review. I mean, I usually call them unboxings, but they're not really unboxings because I take them out of the box. So uh, does that really count as an unboxing if they're already out of the box? But anyways, guys, it's sort of s mm, unboxing slash review or more so a review than an unboxing. But you guys get where I'm getting at. We're going to be doing an unboxing slash review of a Batman statue. And it's not going to be the Jim Lee line series um, or the Jim Lee series line. I don't know how you want to put that, but it's not going to be that. It's going to actually be a different Batman. Um, I have been meaning to do the statue review for the Jim Lee because I already did a Catwoman and I did a Joker one and I do have the Batman. I will bring the Batman one. But for now, we're going to skip that one. We're going to do a Batman from a different line and I hope you guys do enjoy it. So uh, first, I'm going to go ahead and just grab the box and bring it over here. Show you guys what the box says and everything. And then we'll go into the statue. Um, I do have a different background as my wife started working from home. As you can see, I'm not talking very loud as well because my kids are also virtually home while my wife is working from home. So yay, we got everybody at home. Um, I do plan on still doing my streams during the day while they're at work and school. Um, I'm just gonna have to do, you know, really quiet single player type games where I'm not gonna be freaking out and going crazy and screaming too long. I'm mean, too long. I, mean, I could scream pretty long. <laughs> Too loud. Yeah, let's go get that box. Okay, guys and gals. Well, I'm not going to show you guys the uh, box because I didn't realize I threw out the box. So I do apologize for that. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put a couple of uh, screenshots of what I did order, where I ordered it from, and how much it was because I don't even remember all of that as well. Um, so right now you should be seeing the screenshots of what the product is, where I bought it at, which I believe was Amazon and how much the cost was. And I will look for pictures of uh, where the box looks and maybe they're popping up right now where you've seen exactly how the sides and the top and all that good stuff that I usually show in a box. But uh, yeah, so uh, sorry about that. Let's, uh, let's just get into the statue. This is the Batman um, from the previous screenshots and information that you were seeing before this uh, start of the video here on the statue side. So uh, this is Batman, and he looks amazing. I have to say that this is probably my grail at the moment, which means that uh, it's the one I hold the highest out of the collection. And I have a couple other ones that I want to go ahead and uh, review for you guys. But this one is just a beast. I mean, you can see a lot of the work inside of the sculpt just now. Just looking at this part right here. This is not a frozen picture. This is legit. I will show you. See, it's legit. Um, and there's more to it than that. As you can see, when I moved it, you probably see some little stuff underneath and their feet. That's the base of it. And the base of this thing is freaking amazing. So um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, move it in a way where you can see it. Because this thing is uh, it's a pretty good size. I would say maybe 10, 11 inches. And uh, I can't get the whole thing in frame. Um, unfortunately, I tried, but it kind of blurs up and looks weird. So we're going to do our best to try to get this thing to look as good as possible for you to see the review. I don't know why I'm talking like a robot, like I'm C-3PO or something. But uh, I'm going to get it better so you guys can see the details in this review. So uh, yeah, let me go ahead and reposition things and hopefully we'll look a lot better. All right, guys and gals. Well, I did bring it up a little closer. It's still out of the frame, unfortunately. But um, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll move this up a little for you guys so you guys can see. There goes the uh, the Batman's face. The cowl right there and his teeth all grin like he just wants to take a bite out of crime. I don't know why I said that because uh, this is not the right character for that. But anyways, um, you see his logo right on the front 
of his chest there. You can see his abs and how ripped this Batman is. Like, it is amazing. This dude works out like 24-7 to get that. Unless it's just part of the costume. He could just be fooling everyone. But, uh, but yeah, and then you got the utility belt with the pouches and everything. Nice rough paint job. It's not. I don't think it's supposed to look like spotless and perfect because, I mean, it is a utility belt. And I'm pretty sure he uses it for all this crime. So you're going to see a lot of scuffs and scrapes on that thing. But, um, and you got him holding his cape on each side. And we turn him around. Sorry, guys, if you do see a little bit of dust on him. He's a little dusty. It's been a while since I've done these statue reviews. You see his cape and how it flows to each side that he is grabbing. And it flows to the back. And then underneath, of course, there's a little gap. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can turn it a little. There's a bit of a gap. You see his legs. You see those freaking leg muscles. Jeez. Um, you got his booty in the back there. Cape does separate, like, I mean, it doesn't come off, but it is separated from his back completely. Um, it's hard to show with the darkness of this thing, but it does completely, completely uh, separate all the way up onto the shoulders. And then the shoulders are pretty much tightly attached on there. Um, I freaking love his expression. You can see his, uh, his eyes right there, how they're just kind of like narrowed and angry. Like, I mean, this is this, this Batman looks like he's a pissed off Batman. Um, and then my favorite part of the statue, as I mentioned before, is the base. The base of the statue is freaking impressive. Normally, when you see a lot of these type of statues, like the Jim Lee ones, they're all... Uh, let me go ahead and bring this camera back down for you guys real quick. The Jim Lee one is pretty basic if, if I have to say, you know, between the other bases that I've seen, it's, it's a little step up. But to me, it's still basic. Um, there's nothing spectacular about it. The Joker one, I mean, his was like, he had some, sorry guys, I'm trying to fix this for you guys. The Joker one, he did have a couple of like shipping crates and stuff that he was on, which is pretty cool. Catwoman's was pretty much like textured, but nothing too fancy. And the same thing with uh, with Batman. I believe Batman has a couple texture, nothing fancy. I'll show you guys that as well. Um, and then this one right here is just, Guys, I can't tell you enough that this was worth the price to me. It's one of my favorite statues. Like I said, it sits about 11 inches. And uh, this thing is very detailed. Now, the base, when I say detailed, the base is just beautiful. Let me show you this base. That is the base that it sits on. You got that gargoyle head right there on the concrete with the uh, metal fencing behind it. And you turn it around, you got more detail. All through this thing, you got detail. Just that rough rock detail type in like a slab you see it all through he has one foot on the bottom this does not come out this is not a removable base this base came it already came attached to the statue so you cannot remove it from this base you turn it around you see more of the metal fencing in the back there around this way more of that texture brick look that gargoyle looking all snazzy but um but yeah this that, that this is definitely my favorite part of the statue is the base and I think that's another reason why this statue happens to be one of my grail statues just because it's beautiful. I mean, if you guys don't think the statue is beautiful, everyone is entitled to their own opinion. I'm not going to crucify you because you go ahead in the comments and say you don't like the statue or it could be better. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. But for me, this statue is a beautiful statue. It's one of the beastliest statues that I have right now at this moment. Until, of course, I collect some more. Now, I do have another statue that I probably sit right up to, but because it doesn't have that great of a base, like nothing special, this one definitely is going to be my first. But uh, hopefully the next video after this, I will show you the Jim Lee Batman, and then I'll show you the second Batman. That's one of my favorites that I have in my statue collection. But um, as I said, most of these videos are never too long. I'll go ahead and put some photos up right now of some close-up shots and some side shots of this Batman so you can enjoy. Um, so, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy these photos. Anyways, guys and gals, that's really all I have for you guys today in this video. As we normally do every single review video slash sort of unboxing, um, we don't really take too much time in these type of videos. It's pretty much just something to help you guys make a decision whether you're on the edge of buying this particular statue or any other statue that's on my YouTube channel. I do want to just help everyone out there who's looking for awesome DC statues or any other nerdy type of statue 
to be able to make the right decision. Um, also, guys and gals, if you do want to show support in any way possible and you guys are looking for a way to support me in this channel, you guys can do so by picking up some merch at shop.spreadshirt.com slash one eye crow. I got some new merch that I just recently put up within the week. So make sure you go check that out. And um, if you guys, you know, don't want to cop the merch, that's understandable. You guys can also show support by following my socials. You guys can go over to twitch.tv slash one eye crow underscore where I do live game streams for several different games. And it's always a blast and always fun. It's family friendly. You guys can bring conversation about Animal Crossing, any other video game that's your favorite, nerdy things, comic book related, superhero related, I don't care. Anything that's fun, family friendly type things, you guys can go ahead and drop it in the chat. Um, you guys can go trade on Animal Crossing and things you need um, and so on. So it's a family friendly type chat, family friendly type environment. Come on through, have some fun and enjoy you know, talking to each other, getting to know one another. And I love getting to know things about you guys and what your favorite type of things and hobbies are. And maybe we share the same interest. So uh, make sure to come on through twitch.tv slash when I grow underscore when I'm live so, so we can have some fun. Um, and also, guys, don't forget, if you're looking for a comfortable gaming chair, check out technisportsusa.com where you can get awesome gaming chairs, gaming desks, mouse pads and more. And you can, you can actually use the code. I don't know why I said that twice. You can actually use the code. I said it three times now. Um, when I crow all capital letters for ten percent off at checkout. If you're looking for an energy drink, uh, if you're looking for an energy drink without that crash and burn effect, a more healthy alternative, go check out the Rogue Energy, or is it just Rogue Energy? I'm sorry, I don't know why I always add duh, add duh to everything. Rogue Energy, and you can also use the code when I crow all capital letters ten percent off there. They have awesome flavors and awesome shakers. I have quite a few shakers myself and the flavors I stand by, they're really, really, really good and healthier. Um, and also don't forget if you're a Fortnite player or if you like to shop at the Epic Game Store for anything on your PC to play, make sure to use the code when I crow all capital letters just to show support for what I do. I really, really do appreciate every single one of you guys. I can't say it enough. You guys have been making my day the best days ever. Like. Through this time of all this thing going on with COVID and, you know, the way the world has been just de-escalating through the way we normally live. It brightens my day to see the comments that you guys leave in my videos, the support that you guys show. I don't expect to get, you know, a thousand subscribers in, you know, less than a week or even a month or so. I plan on continuing to do this for as long as I possibly can. And I know as I gradually go on through the years, I will see an increase in subscribers. But uh, just within the last week or so, the fact that I've gotten 10 or more subscribers on this channel means a lot to me. And the fact that you guys take the the, the, the time to just comment, and even if it's a little comment, even if it's coming out, doesn't make sense. And I'm just like, what the hell does this mean? I still appreciate it because I'm able to write back. I'm able to see these comments and it makes me smile. So I hope that I'm able to make you smile. I hope that I'm able to give you things that entertain you as well as you're able to do that for me. So I really, really appreciate and thank you to everyone who has been so supportive. Um, remember, you guys are all amazing. Don't ever let anyone make you feel like you are less. And on to the next video, I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.